Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Introduction to C++ Part 43 here on SoloLearn.com. We're going to go over abstraction. So uh, data abstraction is the concept of providing only essential information to the outside world. It's a process of representing essential features without including implementation details. A good real world example is a book. When you hear the term book, you don't know the exact specifics, the page count, the color, the size, but you can understand the idea of a book, right? What is it? The abstraction of a book, its definition. The concept of abstract abstraction is that we focus on essential qualities rather than the specific characteristic of one particular example. So what does abstraction mean? We're focusing on the essential qualities of something. Um, abstraction means that we can have an idea or a concept that is completely separate from any specific in instance. It's one of the fundamental building, fundamental building blocks of object-oriented programming. For example, when you use the console output stream, you're actually using the console output object of the class OStream. This stream is data to result in the standard output. Uh, in this example, is there's, there's no need to understand how it actually works. We're just using a simplified version, a interface. We don't need to know the implementation details. The only thing you need to be able to use is the public interface. Cool. So which statement about abstraction is true? So uh, an abstraction is a way to declare functions for a class? No. We can have a concept, but it's separate from any specific instance. That's what it is. Awesome. And uh, finally, let's sort of look at this, right? So here we have a class of bank account, and it has two properties on it, an account number and balance, okay? And here we have two, you know, instantiations, two uh, created classes of uh, the bank account, and they're separate, right? They're not actually this, they're an instance of it. So abstraction acts as a foundation for the object-oriented fundamentals, such as inheritance, polymorphism, so we'll learn about those later in the course. So what is the foundation that supports other fundamentals of object orientation, such as inheritance and polymorphism? That's what we talked about. That's abstraction. All right, guys, that was it for part 43. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care.